Here is a Zenith System 3 23-inch color TV. And I would assume this is from the early 1980s. This is just like the one that Spatz has, except his is the Delta Gun version. This is the System 3 inline. I actually do have the Delta Gun Chroma Color 2 at home as well, but it's in the barn. I need to bring it up here sometime. Here's a control panel, chromatic, on-off volume. And a lot of the time right here it would say electronic tuning, but this one doesn't. Let's take a look inside at the auxiliary controls. And let's see here. Picture, black level, color level, tint, sharpness. I think, let's see what these are. There's some auxiliary controls down here. It's kind of hard to make out what they are. They may be the presets for the chromatic. take a look now at the back and check out the chassis. Here's this 23 inch Zenith System 3 chassis. It's got the infamous resistor pack on the video output module. However, the CRT seems to be in good shape. The only problem with this is bad vertical deflection. So I'm going to need to go hunting after some bad caps in here. I have to get the ESR meter in here and see where the bad caps are. This, module does, or this model does not have the Ferro Resonant Transformer. Some of the early System 3's had the Ferro Resonant Transformer regulated power supply, but this just has the switching supply. And just got the two modules here, plus the tuner module. It's got the uh, regular old Zenith tuner up here, Veractor tuner. And uh, let's see here, let's take a look at the back cover. The best TV deserves the best antenna, Zenith antennas. Any color TV? Let's see if there's any maker's data on here. I don't. It's kind of hard to make out. I don't see a date of manufacture on it. Okay, we'll go ahead and, and give it a test. I got it hooked up to the. DTV converter here so we can see what this old Zenith will do. Side edges of your project. Now because you're going to be going through lots of layers, it's five to be exact, three from the block itself and two layers of the binding you make certain it's that got you a use a heavy good CRT, duty but you can just see like that the vertical is kind of stretched out and then just all purpose thread I'm sure it's bad electrolytic capacitors that matches not contrast the same allowances will be Let's a half of an inch the here. same with the Kim recommended that we use when sewing the two pillow bags together and I have a short oh, stitch length and you can hear it's a lot of layers that I'm stitching level. through I'm guiding Ten, this at the half inch good. mark and when I get close to the corner, what I like to do is fold the binding at an angle, at, the, at a 45 degree angle, increase it. And it's kind of like a finger crease, and I'm going to stop sewing when I reach the crease. Which is coming up pretty soon. And since this is going to, the edges are going to be cut, just give it a little extra back stitch. Now, you don't have to have exact half-inch seam allowances. This is really kind of stress-free sewing. So we're again going to fold it at that 45-degree angle and then fold the binding back on itself so that the fold aligns with the cut edge so that these two lines are meeting. Looks like it shouldn't be too bad of a repair job. Get those new caps in there. We'll do another video and show you the progress of it.